Is it a good time to buy a house right now with today's market, with everything that's going on? Well, my last video we talked about, is it a good time to sell your house? So today we're gonna be talking about, is it a good time to buy? We're gonna look at that from three different perspectives. One, you just need a place to live. Number two is, are you trying to time the real estate market? And then number three is, are you an investor? So we're going to look at today's topic with those three considerations in mind. Okay, let me get this business out of the way so we can jump right into this topic. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all the surrounding cities powered by nationwide real estate executives. Now, if this is our first time meeting here on YouTube, Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. I think it's right about there. And ring that bell so that you will be notified every single time that I do do a video. And I do put out these videos every single week. All about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things you want to know, and about is it a good time to buy a house in today's market. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area or relocating out of the area, all you got to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift and I will personally reach out to you. Today's topic, should I buy a house in today's market? So first off, is it, should I buy a home right now if I need a place to live, meaning you probably just sold your house or you're looking to rent you want to stay active in the real estate market but you're just concerned should i buy right now or not you know or just stay put renting okay well here's the deal if you're planning on staying there for at least five years you will be okay if you have a good job you have stable income and you're not overextending yourself to qualify for the mortgage and to make the payment. But on the other hand, there is a lot of economic instability and uncertainty going on. So if you're going to buy a house because you need a place to live, here's what's going on in your favor. One, record low interest rates. And that's awesome. That's fantastic. So you have record low interest rates in your favor. And if you plan on holding this property for five years or more, you will be fine. The second is your income situation is strong and stable. Obviously you got the credit, you've got the down payment, you've got the money to get the house. Key is you wanna have an aggressive, strong agent that can help you get a great deal. Do not pay a premium for a house in today's market. If you do buy, you will pay what today's market value is. And depending on where you're at, that market might be going up or it might be going down. So you need to make sure that you do not overpay for a home right now. That's why you need an aggressive, strong agent that will help you get the best terms and get the best price. Should I buy now? Well, the second consideration here is, are you looking to get a great deal? And I want to time the market. I don't want to buy a home, even a personal residence, and pay top dollar for it. Well, if you're looking to time the market, meaning I want to wait till home prices are good, and when I buy it, our home is going to go up. And like I talked about, is it a good time to sell? There's a good probability with all the economic indicators showing price, home prices within the next 12 months will start to drop. Now, the third consideration, should I buy a property as an investor? No, 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 no. An investor knows this. You would never buy an investment property at the peak of the market. Now, of course, there are going to be some exceptions to the rule. There always are. But as a rule of thumb in general, you never want to buy at the peak. What you want to be doing right now is a little SCNW. Stash your cash and watch. So when you watch, you're going to watch it a lot. You're going to watch it until you start to get excited. When you do see something that gets you very excited and you feel like it's time to move, be very, very cautious. Now, I would not be doing any fix and flips right now at all because there's too much volatility going on and uncertainties about what can happen in the housing market. While you're in the process of flipping a home, 
And that could cost you tons of money and leave you hung out to dry. And you do not want that. So stash your cash and watch and watch. And here's what's up. If and when you do find a great deal, and what constitutes a great deal? Well, cash flow is king. You are not going to be buying for the next couple of years for appreciation. You're going to be buying for cash flow. So that's all I'm really going to talk about is with the investors because we're not going to be giant. We're talking about the housing market. We're not talking about the commercial, uh, the commercial real estate industry right now because that is taking a huge, huge hit. All the commercial investors, the real estate, the uh, retail, the restaurants, travel industries, all that kind of stuff, they are not touching, period. And later on, there's going to be a lot of redevelopment opportunities. So we'll be hitting on those later when those start resurfacing. Okay, so let me know what, what you feel, what's going on. If you agree with what I said here today, if you disagree with what I said, leave a comment down below. Again, my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in Long Beach and all the surrounding cities. So until next time, you take care. That's all, folks.